the record video. Okay. Uh, so we will be driving the uh, Mazda. This is the Mazda 6 GVC. Of course, it's not new. It's been around here. The uh, three will be will be what they are launching today. So Mazda has put in the GVC into the uh, Mazda 6, uh, okay, Mazda 3 now. And uh, I'm not sure if this is able to correctly show GVC because I was lucky enough to drive it in Japan. They have the switch to turn it off and on. So uh, what it does is that, imagine you're driving in a parking lot, you're going 20 or going 30, okay? Your kids are in the car and then suddenly you pull your steering and your kid will fall over to that side because even though we're going very slowly, there is a minimal amount of G-force pushing us forward. And actually that force multiplies greatly when you switch direction. So what Mazda did is, when we were switching direction that time, at that very moment, they cut off the top to balance off, to, to basically neutralize the inertia of the car switching direction. Because when you throttle or off-throttle, your engine block right will actually move like that. So that is what the GVC is about. They are the first car maker to discover this. They are also the first car maker after discovering this, devise a solution for it. And what's amazing is that it is entirely software. It is just software. So that's what makes this amazing. But however, if you were to test drive the Mazda 3 in all the showrooms this weekend, right, you will not be able to tell how does it work because provided you have a Mazda 3 with no GVC. What they're giving us to test now are Camrys and Accords and Civics, right? Because by default, the Mazda 3 and the Mazda 6 already outhandles these cars. So with or without GVC today, being compared to those, right, that's, to us, it doesn't make a difference. But I, I hope I explain what GVC is about. All right, let's hop to the other cars. Cheers.